Hey y'all. So today we are going to be going over five ways to get your bunny to eat more Timothy hay. First of all, hay is so important for buns. It's literally 80% of their diet. So you need to get them the most quality hay you can find. And of course, hay that your buns like. So for me personally, my buns love the second cutting Timothy hay. There are three different kinds of cuttings for Timothy hay and second cutting is kind of like in the, in the middle between um, soft and hardness. And I think my buns just like that particularly, but I also think it's because of their age. So many different bunnies need different types of hay depending on that they're older, younger, need more protein, need more fiber. You can actually check out our hay guide, which shows you different types of hay that might work better for your bun. I will say it's a learning curve for you and your bunny to figure out what type of hay is going to be best for you in the long run, in terms of pricing, in terms of amount, and of course, in terms of what your bunny likes the most. What I love about Small Pet Select is the fact that they have hand packaged hay. This means that it's not broken, it's fresh, and you can actually like see the little flower buds like inside the hay, which is great because now Small Pet Select sells flower heads like just as themselves and my bunnies love those too and they think they're like a snack, which they are a snack, but it's technically just me trying to get them to eat healthier and eat more hay, but they don't know that. So anyway, it's really nice to be able to see those flower heads in your bunny's hay. It's nice that the strands of hay are super long because if you haven't noticed, bunnies love to eat something and then like just like gulp it up like a piece of spaghetti. So it's really funny to watch them do that and to know that they're getting really quality hay because of how long the strands are and how they're not broken or damaged or anything like that from a factory. Hay really helps with bunnies keeping their teeth filed down, which is really, really important because if your bunny's teeth are overgrown, it can be a huge health issue and it can actually be life-threatening for your bun. So here's some creative ways to entice your bunny to eat more hay. Number one is herbal blends. Now we have so many different types of herbal blends and these are basically just a ton of little herbs inside of a bag and you pull them out and you sprinkle them all over your bunny's hay. They smell so good, like truly, they smell so good. And your bunnies will like jump into their hay box and just forage through the hay to find these herbs. Now, while they're foraging, they also will probably eat more of their hay. So this is a great way to entice them to eat more of their hay. And also they can get a little bit of nutrients from the herbs as well. So it's really nice. Number two is hay cubes. Now you might think hay cubes are just like a snack or a toy, but they're actually hay. They're fully made of hay. They're just made into little cubes. And so if your bunny decides that they want to eat five hay cubes, great, because they've just taken in so much hay and that's great for the digestion. You don't have to worry about, oh, is this too many snacks for my bunny? Maybe I should be like going less on the snacks and for hay cubes, you really don't have to because it's truly just all hay. And like we said before, hay is 80% of a bun's diet, so they need it 24 seven. This is a free choice food for bunnies. Like bunnies need hay all the time, all the time. There should never be a moment when your bunny does not have hay in their habitat. Hay cubes also come on like toy mobiles and stuff like that. So your bunnies can get that nutrient from their toy. So they can play with it, they can throw it around, whatever, but still in the end, they are eating more hay. The healthy snackers are also a great treat for your bun. These have more fruit in them, but they still do primarily have Timothy hay inside of the healthy snacker. So your bunnies get like that sweet taste of a fruit and also hay. So it's kind of like tricking them into thinking that they're eating like a really sweet like fruit and not just hay, but really they are. And, and that's another thing that they can have uh, quite often. My bunnies have GI problems and healthy snackers actually are very easy on their tummies, doesn't bother them at all. And they come in like a million different flavors. So if one doesn't work, you can try like all the other flavors that they have. I mean, it's insane 
how many healthy snackers there are. Hay has a lot of fiber as well, so even if they're eating the healthy snackers, they're still getting the fiber that they need to keep their GI system on track. Like I said, my buddy Primrose loves the second cutting Timothy Hay. Like she literally will go into her box and not come out for like an hour or two hours. And I'm, I walk by and I'm like, oh my God, she's still in there like eating this hay. How hungry can she be? I don't know, but she just won't stop eating it. But if your bunnies aren't really keen on second cutting Timothy Hay, so our fourth option, if your bunnies are having issues with first or second cutting is actually third cutting Timothy Hay. Now the difference between third cutting is that it's softer and it's easier for some bunnies to chew. Lots of picky bunnies have a good time with this type, especially because of the softness of the hay and I think also the smell of this hay as well. And you can actually start off with the third cutting Timothy hay if your bunny is more picky and then slowly wean them down to second or first cutting just to have more fiber for their diet. Now the fifth, option to make your bunny eat more Timothy hay is getting orchard or alfalfa hay. Now, these are two different types of hay. They're very different, but they are really great options for picky bunny eaters. Now, I will say, orchard hay has a very sweet aroma. Bunnies love the smell of orchard hay, and I think it's great for when my bunnies are sick. So like, my bunnies don't feel well and they don't really want to eat any hay. I always give them orchard because they're like, oh my gosh, it's like really sweet and really good. And they think they're eating like a dessert or something. And actually it's just more hay to keep their GI systems on track and really just get it going again. Orchard hay is also really soft and it still has the same amount of fiber that Timothy hay has. It's just probably easier for like an older bunny to eat orchard hay because of the softness of it versus a Timothy hay cut. Now alfalfa hay is pretty much only for baby bunnies because of the intense amount of protein alfalfa hay has, but alfalfa hay does not have enough fiber to be a full on hay for an adult bunny. So you can use it to like sprinkle on top of regular Timothy hay or orchard hay, just like to entice the bunnies to eat more of their hay, but it's not a full replacement hay. Um, alfalfa hay is only recommended for small bunnies or um, growing bunnies. Alfalfa hay can be like similar to the herbal blends in terms of like sprinkling it on top, having your bunny smell that smell, foraging for it, but still eating regular Timothy or orchard hay. Anyway guys, thanks so much. I'm Sarah and if you like this video, please subscribe, like the video and comment turn on the notification bell, and also head over to smallpetselect.com. We have tons of options, not just for bunnies, but for many different small pets. And we love to have you guys as part of our Small Pet Select community. See you soon.